and I'm going to play a prelude in D sharp minor by J.S. Bach. D sharp. That's right. D sharp minor. D sharp. D sharp. D sharp. It has six sharps. <laughs> 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 it just reminds <laughs>
Is the clipboard over there from the beginning? Has everybody signed it? No, no one else. I think that's no one else is up. I'll write it back. Okay. It says, somebody gets to step up. Good morning, everybody. My name is Janine, and this piece is called Longing. And I just, uh, Christopher Goldston wrote it, and it's, it's something that I find um, really lovely. I hope you do too, whatever your heart's longing is, your mind, your release, we are here. And I'd like to dedicate this to my daughter, Marissa. And I'd like to align this, because it's a button. There we go, excellent. I don't have one, but align it. Fontaine from Jim Reed. Vanya. Vanya. Yeah. She has left for Brazil, moved to Brazil. Her mother is, is ill or has been, she was just diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, at least 94 or something, or 92. Um, anyway, she made a very precipitous decision, like instantly, and they're selling her house in her downtown, in downtown. And she left on Monday. She flew out of Brazil. So it made, yeah, she was very yeah. emotional when she came to yeah. the restaurant on Sunday. Yeah. She was very, you know, she just felt 
just very because she's been in this country for such a long time yeah. and now she is selling mm -hmm. her, her condo here and moving back to Brazil mm -hmm. but hopefully we'll see her here and she says she'll be back in September for your concert Monique and there's another concert, concert. <laughs> yeah for the concert at your house yeah if I if I may since you, you said that Lulu when I first um, found this piece the longing was my father was at the end of his life and I went to visit my daughter on Oahu and she was back in Colorado mm -hmm. she's been in December she moved back there and then she came back through here and and so this longing you know of, of mm -hmm. I think it was the spirit of my mother who was really missing him so this family connection and heart I'm really it's, it's wonderful that you heard piece. that Isn't that lovely yeah thank you for introducing me to this composer because oh, yeah. I bought the piece too mm -hmm. sweet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was I don't I never count the minutes. My name is Randall and um, many of you have heard this piece before because I played it within the last six months at a different club here. This is Pavan by Gabrielle Faure. Yeah, perfect follow up. Thank you. 
I am recycling a piece as well. <laughs> it's a, a Bach piece, pre Prelude and Fugue, is an A flat major. <laughs>
I'm Jill, and this is the Grieg Sonata uh, in E minor in the first movement of the Allegro Moderno. Mm -hmm.
Charlie Chapel. Uh, I'm going to play I'm from Butu, um, Opus 142, number three, by Schubert. Is it correct to pronounce? Yeah. Sch Schubert. Yeah. Schubert. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and uh, I'm going to play this piece um, on 26 uh, at San Diego Amateur yes. Piano Competitions um, Festival Department. Oh, nice. Yeah, 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 which is no competitive. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I thought, um, I, I believe this opportunity here today will be my good rehearsal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
want to use the other bench instead? Uh, this one's a little bit too high. Are you trying to get some air in? Is that? Yeah. So this piece has a, I counted this morning, 27 rarintan. Almost every major, every other major has rarintan. So, so uh, I have to think about, it. you cannot do the same way 27 times. So that, that's the challenge for me. And then the trills in this piece is the singing bird. Uh, I think uh, that present like a singing. And at the very end, the bird said, I heard you complain enough, bye. And then it's, <laughs> go away, I like that last part. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
My name is Justin, this is Monique. We will be playing four hands of the Can Can Grand Monde by Eric Satie. Short little ditty. You may dance, or you may not dance. <laughs> I encourage moving at least. <laughs> Frenchman's hands. <coughs> Jodo. Oh, uh, I should read the uh, what do you call it? This epitaph and all that. Dieu fluvial rentre dans l'eau sous les chatouilles. Which means, this is bad French, I know. I don't, the river god or goddess, and there's argument about whether it's male or female, is, is uh, laughing at the water that's tickling, tickling them. That's the the same. That's how you're supposed to play. Okay. Right. Not this Allegro stuff. Or that is Allegro stuff. <laughs> <laughs>
could have known each other. You can practice now. We'll continue with the French. <laughs> Back to foreign. <laughs> Uh, I'm Anna, this is Natasha. It's so great to be back. Yes. It's great to, I haven't seen you all since COVID started. So um, we'll play today three selections from the Dolly Suite by Thore. Um, the interesting fact uh, is that Thore composed this. Uh, he dedicated it to the girl whose name was Dolly because she was tiny. She mm -hmm. was um, a daughter of an actress, Helen uh, Bardak, who he loved very much. That Helen Bardak became second wife of Debussy. <laughs> but, uh, so this is, uh, she must have been beautiful and very inspiring for many composers. <laughs> so <laughs> these three, three com uh, compositions from Dolly Suite are Meow, which uh, has nothing to do with cats. Meow was a short name, nickname for Mr. Raoul, who was the uncle of Dolly, the girl, um, Le Jardin de Dolly, the garden of Dolly, and Le Pas Espagnol. And ha Ravel was half uh, Spanish by his maternal side. So three, three selections. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Mr. Chips of the music department, very self-effacing. Mm -hmm. The music is not, fortunately. <laughs> Three preludes, uh, scherzando, and an almost uh, medieval sounding slow movement, a, uh, and then a fast. <laughs>
play a little piece uh, that I wrote for my mother, entitled, entitled Vermilion. Justin is a newcomer to San Diego, and he's right. super talented. Where did you come from? I think, yeah. Where did you come from? Uh, originally Utah, by way of Seattle and Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think his first appearance was at Trudy's house back right. two months ago, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at Trudy's house for Plavir. Right. Right. But now he's playing his own composition. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some people have all the talent. <laughs> Thank you. 
Are you going to play that, or does the last piece on this? Good board. We don't, we don't know where the music is. Oh. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> where did you put it, Bontaine? Are you going to play your uh, Norwegian dance? <laughs> yeah, Justin and Fontaine. Oh, it's, I think oh, it's, oh, it's going to be a, a duet. Yeah, it's in there. Do you want to play? You want to play? <laughs> I'm sure. Let's do it. Okay, we'll play. <laughs> Did you ever think of putting lyrics to that piece? Ooh, I have not, actually. Does it sound singable? No, it's, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's called Benin. Uh, yeah, it's the name of the street that we grew up on. Other bench. Yeah, I'll do that. Let me just throw this music in here. Oh, good. Won't work in that other folder. Heavy thing. Thank you so much. Glasses. And Fontaine, I think you move that a little bit so it's not in the line of the camera. Oh, okay. Anyways, we'll bring it back when you're we done. We can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be playing the first three of the Norwegian dances by Edvard Grieg. There you go. The first three. Okay. Fontaine's very excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, I don't know. Here, yeah. a million years ago, it was, it was mostly teachers. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, really? 